Yo, welcome back to Daily DJ. This is Trevsky. I'm taking you on my journey of going from zero DJ experience to hopefully playing at festivals and making music with my idols. I started doing these daily sets to not only practice my mixing techniques, but also the performance aspect and the preparation behind it. Yesterday, I did a techno set, my first time ever mixing techno. Didn't go as well as I planned, not nearly as well as I planned. So check out the last video if you missed it. I had a blast doing it, but it's crazy just how different the mixing styles are when you go between different genres. Today I'm going back to genres that are more my style and things that I'm familiar with. So really looking forward to today, jumping right back into my favorites. This is gonna be more of a future house, big room set. And I have some great tracks prepared for you. So without further delay, let's get into it. It's okay. You're not alone. Come with me into the unknown. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, well, it's great to be back in Future House, Big Room, that sort of genre of mixing. I think I'm most comfortable with mixing these genres, not just because I like the music, but because I'm more accustomed to the quick transitions and the types of effects that DJs will put on them. Definitely great to be back a little bit more near my comfort zone, but that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna continue to try new genres, new mixing techniques and stuff, because I think that's helping me even more as a DJ because it's expanding my skill set and my familiarity with different types of music and also giving me ideas to apply back to my main genres. There was one weird part in this set that for some reason like the track just skipped back in the moment. I didn't know what happened but I did utilize the beat jumping. I'm proud of myself for doing that. I actually used beat jumping in the beginning of the set as well so that's something that I'm trying to utilize a little bit more. Not so much as a transition technique but something that can help me skip over certain parts. Like if there's a long dead space in a song and I wanna get to some other part of the song, I'm gonna try and use stuff like that. Or if I mess up, I can go back or if I wanna replay a chorus, I can always do that. I could also use cue points for that, but honestly the past week or two, I haven't been using cue points at all. So maybe that's something that I need to incorporate back into my mixes. Overall, great day. Really enjoyed the set as usual. And I got to practice beat jumping, which is something that I don't really use much. So that's always a good thing. As usual, I want to hear any feedback you guys have, so please, whether it's good or bad, please let me know in the comments. Really appreciate all the support, any views, any likes, all the subscribes. Guys, we're almost at 50 vlogs. That's insane. Like, when I started this, I didn't expect to get past, like, the first week because I never... I always started these, like, vlogs, and then I ended up getting a few episodes in, never posting them, and then just completely quitting. So this is the longest I've ever stuck to a series of content. And I'm super proud, and hopefully it's inspiring you to also pursue your goals, whatever you've been putting off. Whatever you wanna do, but you're just hesitant to dive in, just dive in. You're gonna build the momentum, you're gonna eventually stack up this great library of content, and at the same time, you're gonna be getting better at whatever it is you wanna do. So, highly recommend this. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Much love, thank you guys, take care. I'll see you again tomorrow, as usual. Daily DJ, let's go!